Hello everybody and welcome once again to another video of DIY investing. This one's going to be a little bit different from my normal videos. Today I'm going to be actually showing you guys how to set up a Ledger Nano X. This is a hardware wallet and honestly with all of this uncertainty in the market and with exchanges, I really made me want to make a video um, actually talking about um, how to get your money off of exchanges because we really don't know which exchanges are going to be trustworthy. And now the Bitcoin's really starting to shake the market out, we're going to now find out which ones of these are are actually liquid or not and so if you actually have money on some of these untrusted exchanges now is the time where you actually want to be taking those off and moving them into cold storage and so that's actually what I'm going to be doing with mine and I want to be able to teach you guys how to actually set one of these up because I think that this has been the easiest hardware wallet for me to use and so I think that a lot of people will actually be able to benefit from me making this video so I'm going to break down all of the basics on getting started so let's jump right into this video today So here I am with all of the contents that the Ledger comes with. This is obviously the Ledger Nano X. You're gonna get that comes inside of this little box here. Now, once you have it opened, you're gonna get a pamphlet that says hello, like this right here. And this is what's actually gonna come with all of the important things for setting up your Ledger. Now, what it comes with is some really cool stickers. It comes with this little informational guide and then it comes with this getting started pamphlet. Now you're also going to get this little guy here and that's your recovery phrase, but we'll get into that here in a second. Now what's really cool to me about the Ledger Nano X is the fact that if you put your cryptocurrency on here, it's not actually storing your cryptocurrency on the device itself, but it's still being stored on the blockchain. So the cool thing about that is the fact that if you lose your device or anything happens to it, as long as you have your 24 word phrase and your backup key to actually recover it, you can still log in and get access to all of your money just through the website. And so it doesn't matter if it's stolen or if it's lost or broken, you're actually always going to have control over your funds. And so this makes it a really safe way for you to guys to just keep it into your safe. Um, you can keep it in a safe storage place and you're never going to have any problems with like hackers. And so during times like this when the market is really crazy and we're starting to see Bitcoin become very unstable and volatile, it's very important that you know exactly how to store your money off exchanges because when you actually put your money on exchanges you're risking a lot to uh, hackers and potentially just the exchange itself starting to crash and so this is why I wanted to make this video as me setting it up because I'm actually transferring a lot more money onto my ledger and I figured now would be a really good time to actually teach you guys how to do that now once you actually have all of the contents you're gonna go through and set this up now once this device is set up you're gonna actually log on to the website now the way to do this is you're gonna go to the Ledger website and it's gonna give you that when you're actually setting up your device. You're gonna go through here and you're going to download the app for whichever um, type of computer and operating system you have. And so once you do that, you're gonna have this app and you're gonna pull it up and it's gonna bring you to this page here. Depending on the device that you're using, I'm personally going with the Ledger Nano X, you're gonna go through and set it up. Now, what it's going to ask you for is a pin code. When you go through and set up the device, it's already going to um, have you do all of this. And so you should just be able to kind of go through. But I'm just kind of showing you guys what is going to happen. Um, and then you're going to get your recovery phrase. Remember, this is your 24 uh, word phrase that you guys need to write down on the three separate pieces of paper. When you have those separate pieces of paper, you're going to want to store them in different places and then keep all three pretty safe um, just so they don't get destroyed. Because if they do get destroyed and then you lose access to your ledger by getting who knows what happens, you're actually going to lose all of your money. And so it's really important that you do that and write it down. And so it's going to ask you to do that after you've already set up the device, you uh, will have already done that. And it's going to ask you to just kind of go through from here. Now, this is the basic list of commands. Did you choose the p pin code by yourself? Yes. Did you save the recovery phrase by yourself? Yes. Is your ledger uh, genuine? And you're actually going to connect it to your computer here, and that's when you're going to be able to kind of authenticate it. And now, this is where you're going to go through and do your password. And then after that, you guys should be done. It just says um, bugs and analytics. I think that that's just a simple setting up process. But once you guys actually have that done, this should be about the end result here. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I wanted to make sure that everybody was on the same page on how to actually set one of these up because it is really important, um, especially for new guys getting in here. You might trust a lot of these exchanges and I've personally lost money doing so. And so when it comes to cryptocurrency being unregulated, backing up your investments and your uh, money is gonna be one of the most important things that you can do first and foremost. And so setting up my ledger is just a way that I can actually teach you guys a different method of doing so. So if you like this video, always remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Um, make sure that you guys join the Discord down below. It's totally free for you guys to access. And yeah, I look forward to having you guys a part of this team. So with all that being said, I will see you in the next video. As always, peace out.